Massive asteroid to zoom past Earth on July 30th. Earth is no longer considered at risk. As NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies has now revised the asteroid's trajectory, estimating a 4.3% chance of striking the Moon, up from an earlier 3.8% prediction. Pause for a sec and support me with a subscribe. NASA scientists have confirmed that asteroid 2024 Y44, roughly the size of a 15-story building, could collide with the Moon in 2032. If it does, it may become one of the most significant lunar impacts ever recorded. Earth is no longer considered at risk, as NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies has now revised the asteroid's trajectory, estimating a 4.3% chance of striking the Moon up from an earlier 3.8% prediction. According to NASA's Planetary Defense blog, data collected by the James Webb Space Telescope on the 26th of March, 2025, were instrumental in refining estimates of the asteroid's orbit and size. Scientists now believe the asteroid is between 53 and 67 meters, 175 to 220 feet in diameter. NASA noted that these revised findings improved the prediction of its 2032 position by approximately 20%. Though they clarified that even a direct impact would not significantly alter the Moon's orbit. Asteroid 2024 Y44, discovered in late 2024, was initially deemed a global concern when it topped the Torino Impact Hazard Scale, which assesses the potential threat posed by near-Earth objects. However, further observations made in early 2025 have ruled out any danger to Earth. This is steered to pass Earth on July 30th. If the asteroid does impact the Moon, scientists estimate it could release energy equivalent to 5 to 7 megatons of TNT, potentially forming a crater around 1 kilometer wide. The collision could eject up to 220 million kilograms of lunar debris into space, according to the New York Post. Some of this material may travel towards Earth, creating a brief meteor shower. The resulting meteor shower could last a few days and be quite a spectacle. Although the number of visible meteors may be muted due to the low entry speed of the ejecta, researchers told the New York Post. NASA has also cautioned that even small fragments of debris could pose a risk to satellites in low Earth orbit and ongoing lunar missions. While the material is unlikely to destroy satellites outright, minor damage and operational disruptions cannot be ruled out. The asteroid is currently behind the Sun and out of observational range. But scientists plan to resume tracking it in 2028, once it re-emerges into view. Don't forget to give this video a like. Thank you so much! Asteroid 2024 YR4, a colossal wanderer the size of a city block, captivates not just astronomers, but anyone who has ever gazed at the Moon in wonder. This asteroid, hurtling through the void isn't just a statistical blip. It's a reminder of our fragile place in the universe, a potential harbinger of change that could reshape humanity's boldest dreams of returning to the lunar frontier. While the odds of impact stand at a tantalizing 4.3%, a figure refined by NASA's vigilant eyes and the James Webb Space Telescope's piercing gaze, the implications for our lunar ambitions are profound stirring a mix of awe, urgency, and unyielding resolve. Imagine, if you will, the cataclysmic moment on December 22, 2032. 2024 YR4, slamming into the moon at 13 kilometers per second, unleashing 6.5 megatons of TNT equivalent energy. This isn't mere spectacle. It's a force rivaling the largest nuclear detonations in human history. Carving a crater roughly one kilometer wide, a fresh wound on the moon's ancient face, the biggest in 5,000 years. The energy release would vaporize rock, hurling up to 100 million kilograms of lunar regolith into space. Fragments ranging from dust motes to boulder-sized chunks. As an expert who's poured over Apollo samples and simulated impacts in labs, I can tell you this ejecta wouldn't just dissipate harmlessly.
it would create a temporary atmosphere of dust around the moon, lingering for weeks or months, scattering sunlight and potentially shrouding landing sites in haze. For astronauts, this could mean compromised visibility during descents, where every meter counts in avoiding treacherous terrain. But let's delve deeper into the heart of the matter, the ripple effects on NASA's Artemis program, our gateway to sustainable lunar habitation. By 2032, Artemis will likely have evolved from its early landings. Artemis EE's historic 2026 touchdown at the lunar south pole to a thriving outpost. Picture habitats, rovers, and scientific instruments dotting the Shackleton Crater Rim, harvesting water ice for fuel and life support. An impact from 2024 Year 4 could append this vision in ways that demand our immediate attention. Depending on the strike location, statistically favoring the moon's far side, but unpredictable, the ejecta plume could blanket vast regions with fine particles, raising dust storms that erode solar panels and jam mechanical joints. I've modeled similar scenarios. Lunar dust is insidious, electrostatically charged and abrasive, capable of infiltrating seals and shortening equipment lifespans from years to months. For ongoing missions, this means potential evacuations or delays, echoing the Apollo era's dust woes, but amplified on a global scale. More alarmingly, the orbital debris field in cislunar space. The vast expanse between Earth and Moon could become a gauntlet for spacecraft. Up to 10% of the ejecta might migrate toward Earth, arriving in days as a barrage of high-speed particles. For the lunar gateway, Artemis's orbiting station planned for the 2020s, this translates to heightened collision risks. Satellites in low Earth orbit, including those supporting GPS and communications, could face an onslaught equivalent to a decade's worth of natural meteoroid strikes compressed into mere days. Think of it. Thousands of millimeter-sized bullets peppering solar arrays, antennas, and optics. While outright destruction is unlikely, the cumulative damage could disrupt Artemis supply chains, delaying cargo deliveries or crew rotations. Emotionally, this tugs at the soul, our intrepid explorers, isolated 240,000 miles from home, facing not just the void, but a man-made, or rather asteroid-made hazard. It's a poignant reminder of how interconnected our cosmic pursuits are, where a distant rock's whim could jeopardize billions in investments and the dreams of generations. Yet, amid the peril lies breathtaking opportunity. If the impact occurs on the Earth-facing side, we on the ground might witness a fleeting fireball, brighter than Venus, visible through binoculars. A cosmic firework etching itself into human memory. The ensuing meteor shower, as lunar fragments streak through our atmosphere, could paint the skies in a dazzling display lasting days, evoking the wonder of the presides, but laced with moon-born magic. As a researcher, I feel a thrill imagining the scientific bounty. Fresh crater samples revealing subsurface secrets, perhaps even volatiles ejected for study. This event could accelerate our understanding of lunar evolution, validating models I've championed for years. Still, the persuasive case for vigilance is clear. Planetary defense must expand beyond Earth-centric threats. Cislunar space is our new frontier, vulnerable yet vital. NASA's ongoing monitoring, resuming in 2028, will sharpen these odds, but we can't afford complacency. International collaboration, perhaps deflecting future threats with missions like DART's successor, becomes imperative. For Artemis, contingency planning is key. Reinforced habitats, dust mitigation tech, and adaptive landing protocols. I've advised on such strategies. They're not just engineering feats, but safeguards for humanity's lunar legacy. In the end, 2024 Year 4 embodies the duality of space exploration, terror and triumph intertwined. It stirs the heart, urging us to confront the unknown with courage. Whether it misses or strikes, this asteroid compels us to dream bigger. Prepare smarter and cherish the moon, not as a distant orb, but as our shared destiny.
The cosmos doesn't wait. Neither should we.